Hello again viewers, we're in Albufeira, this is the truth, I'll give you my final thoughts, this is probably my last video, just leaving the hotel, going for a wee bite to eat and I'm checking out, first thing in the morning, really early flight, so we're at the Villa Recife Hotel, I've enjoyed my stay here, no complaints, it's just a basic two star hotel, don't expect much, location wise I really quite like, uh, depends what room you get, you've seen my room review, down the bottom floors, don't have much of a view, much sun. The top floor's better, but it could be noisier because you've got these bars across the road, which actually are really good. You've got Eddie's bar, you've got Merlin's. They've actually got a bar here, you can sit out here, it's an absolute sun trap here. Um, it's really nice sitting here, they've got music on. The girl that works in the bar is lovely as well. The staff in this hotel are really nice. So, I'll give you my thoughts, I'll tell you a couple of things to look out for, a couple of tips, things to avoid. Um, things maybe not to do. And I'll give you my th thoughts on the good and the bad of Alba Fura. There's not much bad to be fair. That's Merlin's here. Always alive the wee bar. I've not really been up that end too much. Somebody did comment that's, that that's where the original old town kind of began. It was up there, but I've not really been down there much. I've been in Eddie's a few times, that's for sure. Um, open to three in the morning. We've got a wee takeaway burger bit there and all sorts going on there. Chops next to me as well. I've done videos here anyway, you've seen exactly where I've staying, we're going to head down, I'm going to head for dinner, I'm not quite sure we're going to end up but I'll let you know my thoughts on Alba Fura. The first thing I want to mention, don't come here just with a card you're going to need cash, not all the bars except, um, except cards so you might find that quite surprising but definitely I've been in quite a few bars that don't accept that Rangers fans, you like that bar, the Bluebell bar, um, it's a wee rooftop terrace it's quite cold tonight but it's windy uh, the temperature today has been very, very nice. It's been about 26 degrees, 27, which for April is fantastic. And then it comes to about 7 o'clock at night, it gets windier. Definitely tonight, I've got a fleece on. I wouldn't be walking about with a t shirt. I've still got the shorts on, of course. Shorts have to stay on at all times, no matter how low the temperature gets. Now, over here, I just read a comment from a viewer recommending this place. I'm sorry I just missed it. Probably not going to be able to pop in, not get a time. We'll be shut by the time I come back up here. We've got a few bars down here on the left as well. We bakeries look nice there. We'll head down towards the square. So first of all, uh, make sure you've got cash on you. This is the old town we're in. Now, what do you prefer if you've been here before, the old town or the new town? I'll tell you my thoughts, my honest uh, thoughts, the truth. I have to admit, I'm a big fan of the old town compared to the new town. You'd have seen the video done in the strip. It would have been good when I was in my, my 20s. I'd have preferred to be up there, more lively. But it's lively enough in the old town to satisfy younger people as well. There's a lot of younger people in the old town as well. This restaurant has got a very nice view. I'm not quite sure what's up there. I think round there you've got the Rockamar Hotel and a few other places. The guys explain the menu there as well. Oh, this is the place. The beach basket, whoever it was that commented on it, it looks a lovely restaurant, it stretches all the way out the back as well, looks nice. Hello. Let's head down. So this is the bar that used to be called Tunes, they changed it to Starburst now. Looks nice inside, looks lovely. Nobody really sitting outside because it's pretty cold with the wind. When I say it's cold, it's maybe 15 degrees. Still pretty cold. Okay, let's head down. So if you're in your 20s, you might prefer up where the new town is. Check out the video I've done down the strip. I've got a couple. Um, one at half eight, one at half ten. Compare the two of them. It's livelier, it's noisier there. There's lots of apartments right next to the strip. It's visually not anywhere near as nice as the old town. Here is a lot nicer. Let's go down this wee side street here. Oh, we go down past the steps bar. Oh, I don't know. First decisions, decisions. Let's go down this way. Now, budget-wise, how much money are you going to need? It's mid-range, it's not It's not a cheap resort, it's definitely not a cheap resort, and it's not an expensive resort. So you're going to find it's a lot more expensive in proportion to the likes of Tenerife, Lanzarote. Even maybe mainland Spain, Costa del Sol is a wee bit cheaper as well. There's a steps bar, really good singer in there, I recommend it. Doesn't come on to you after 10 o'clock at night. Guys from Middlesbrough, give a comment, lovely to meet you a couple of times. It was heading down here. That's the hotel that they, they did offer me use of the pool. Because my hotel, 
was shut, which I didn't know. And then I just realised that the pool is an indoor pool in there. So that's pointless, isn't it? You don't come on holiday to go to an indoor pool unless you're going to really in the middle of winter and it's, you know, you can't go outside. The wee sushi place over there as well, lovely. So budget-wise, you're going to get main meals. They're going to, I've done a couple of videos showing you the prices, but they're going to range in price. Sweet place here, they even know a sweet place for. Lovely inside. What's it called? Casa de Font. It's nice. New menu. Yeah, nice. Tron, omelet, I've not seen that before. Oh, the lights were in the green with that, really, of yours. Um, so budget-wise, I've had burger and chips for like six euros, perfectly acceptable in a few places. I've had a chicken curry, Chinese, at the is it Golden Garden, the one on the, the strip in the new town. Quite annoying that noise, isn't it? Jeez, oh. Builders follow again, viewers. Builders, where are they? Uh, I've had a chicken curry, fried rice, and a pint of Superbot for 13 euros. And the, I thought the food was fantastic in that Chinese. I'd really recommend it. So it's not an expensive place. Don't expect you're going to get Euro beers. You're not. The cheapest beer that I have seen, large beer, is a Euro 50 on the strip and a week in a cafe place. Not a proper big bar or anything like that. But you're realistically now, if you're at Old Town, you're going to pay two Euros 50, three Euros for a beer during the day. And at night, when you go into the Rock Cafe and other good places with good bands, you're going to pay about five Euros for a beer. Cocktails you get happier for about six or seven euros. This shop's amazing in here, I'll tell you. I don't like shopping in any way, but it's the best shop in Aberfura. They sell everything. I've got my socks out here. Look, some, somebody else on YouTube, they get a gimbal. Check it out. Don't know what they're doing. There's two of them. They're doing a wee, a wee film together. <laughs> it's quite interesting. <laughs> Just follow them. wonder what channel they're on, on Instagram or something, TikTok. I don't know, they're doing something anyway. They're doing like a wee music video, see it? It's pretty cool. It's nice here, isn't it? So this takes you down to the beach. Another thing to expect is the beaches are really, really nice. I was down the beach today, I went down for half an hour, took a towel down and I was lying in the beach for half an hour. <laughs> These guys here. And uh, really nice, but the waves are very, very strong. So the currents looked a lot stronger than what I'm used to when I go to Tenerife and all that. So, <laughs> so be aware of that. I don't know, this guy's just randomly joined in. He's just joined in. <laughs> nice atmosphere, that one here. Okay, so we've covered average prices, mid range. Builders down there. <laughs> average price, mid range. Restaurants are lovely. Now, here's the next thing if you're coming to the old town or the new town, don't be surprised when um, you see stag and hen groups. There's a lot of big groups here. Give me a wee wave over there. Hello! <laughs> Everybody happy here? So don't be surprised, you're going to see a lot of stag groups, a lot of hen groups, they'll arrive normally on a Friday, they'll normally come here for the weekend. Um, most of the time, they're down in the kind of square area, they'll fill the bars during the day, watch the football and stuff like that, at night they'll be in the kind of Bank Street area in Old Town. But, the good thing is about Alba if you're a if you're a wee if you're a wee bit intimidated by large groups and I've never seen any problems here, then you can come to these wee side streets just above the square and you don't really get big groups here. It's more like couples and families here. I've seen a lot of families down at the square as well. So it's just a really nice area. I think it suits all budgets and all age groups. If I was coming here on a stag do, I would come to the old town as well, even though the new strip has got the livelier bars open to four or five in the morning. This is just, to me, a lot nicer here. Just my personal opinion. Let's take a wee wander down here, viewers. So don't be surprised, as I said, when you do see uh, quite a lot of younger people here with big groups. I've also seen in the hotel, I was sitting in the hotel. Oh, hi, there's Vladimir. How you doing, all right? Pop into this restaurant, see the guys here, okay? You're very busy tonight. You're very busy. How are you doing? You're all right. Yes, good. So pop in and see Vladimir. I've done quite a few videos go by here. I'm sure during the summer you've got a few people in saying hello to you. All the best. I've seen a video yesterday. you seen it? Yes, very good. Oh, very good. Okay. Great job. Oh, thank you. I'll get this one up soon. 
All the best. See you next time. Yes, see you again. Bye bye. This is a very, very busy restaurant. Took a video here and there was a wee steak getting cooked here on the stone. Beautiful. So, as I said, if you want a quieter vibe, you can come down to these wee side, side streets like this. There's also a couple off the main square as well. So it's got something to suit everybody, Albufeira, I think. We'll head down to the square in a wee minute. That's a very nice restaurant, the city one there. Now, also, don't be surprised when you go down to the square and you see live music everywhere. Some of the restaurants have got live music. If you like live music, you'll love Albufeira. There's music going on all over the place. If you prefer a quieter resort, where there's not really any live music, then it might not be for you, but you can still come down these wonderful side streets, have a wee tapas and the tapas bar there. I might go in there, I don't know, I don't know where to go. Can you go in Vladimir's restaurant, it'll look busy, I don't think I've got a table in there. We'll see. I'm heading down to the square, so I don't know where I'll end up. These restaurants are busy as well. It's a Saturday night about nine o'clock, it's getting filmed. Hello. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah? How Hi. are you? Ha not, not bad, how are you? Okay. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> it's busy in there, eh? Looks, looks lovely. Son of a Beach Hostel, pop in there if you're on a, on a wee budget and you want to come to Albufeira. You've got rooms available in there, very, very affordable. Now here we've got a Portuguese restaurant, Portuguese food. So I did have a comment, somebody complained when I said they had a Chinese last night. I don't know why people get bored about that, but anyway, they, they complained, why do you go to Portugal and have a Chinese? But when I go to Spain or Tenerife, quite often I'll have tapas. I have a wee mix, go to my way, so who knows what I'll have tonight. I'll, I'll just need to wait and see. Re Regina Apartments and Hotel, I'm assuming. Yeah, Regina Apartments. I've never noticed them before, actually. Not really much up this wee side street. Apart from a tattoo place, not much up there. Let's head, head back down. Jessica, there's your shop there. Jessica Souvenirs. Yeah, we'll head back down, we'll go left. I actually thought it was a wee side street, we're going to go down there. So, let's continue, viewers. So, good to do another video on this, but check out my friend Rick's channel, Just Rick and Rick and Shelley in Tenerife. He made a good point. Try before you buy. I try and show you results. If you're thinking of coming here, and I've had a lot of people I've met who have said they've came here after watching the videos, you'll be able to gauge whether it's for you or not just by all the videos I do. Because what I do is when I basically come to a resort, I try and show every angle of it. I've not been so much in the new town to be fair, I've not done that justice. All I've shown you is the strip up there, which is the main bit, but there's quite a wee few streets off there with bars and restaurants. When I come back again, I'll try and show you that. Can you see the birds here? A lot of them. So, to be fair, I've not shown you everywhere here, but I've shown you the main bits. So, let's summarise. If you're coming here for a stag at the Hen Group, Albufeira is a great place, I think. One of the best places for that, I'd say. If you're coming here as a family, there's a lot of nice family hotels just outside the old town. I didn't even know this place before. Another Portuguese place, really busy. Probably a lot of locals in here. So busy inside, isn't it? So busy here. Free Wi-Fi for guests. <laughs> As if that's a big bonus, but anyway, it looks lovely. Lots of stuff going on down there. Let's continue. So, another thing. Don't be surprised when you come off the main square at how hilly it is. This is flat, this bit here, all the way up here is flat, okay? But when we start to go up to my hotel, it is hilly. So if you've got any mobility problems, or you're elderly and you're struggling to walk, there's my hotel, we came from there, the Villa Recife. Then be aware, you're, you're going to have to walk a few hills here. Even the strip area up in the new town um, is a wee bit hilly as well. It's not too bad, but you'll see all the bits we're here. We've got a lot of hotels around the corner and near here. So you can avoid the hills, but if you stay where I'm staying, or just a wee bit off, then you're going to have some hills to negotiate. That's a tic tac bar, popular bar there as well. Hello. Portuguese shops there, Sahari's. I've done quite a few videos down this way. We might go down to 
bike street and see how busy it is, but that could cause me issues because there's so much music. It's pretty busy for a Saturday night in April, quite busy. There's Vertigo, live music on there as well. I spoke to some of the guys outside here earlier on. So you can already see there's a mixed age groups, there is young groups, and they're all obviously older. Hi, how you doing alright? The guys from Vertigo, just speak to earlier on. I was in the central station earlier on, speaking to the guy outside there. A uh, lovely guy, guy with a hat. That is a fantastic sports bar. See when you go inside it, it is beautiful. You've got massive TVs. It's a wee bit more expensive than some of the other bars around here, I have to be honest with you. Pint of Sagres was five euros, but you're paying for quality, I think. The sports bar was fantastic, and uh, it's recommended if you're looking for a game. If, if, if you're looking for a game, you'll get any game at all on for you. Now, <laughs> so now we've got Bank Street down here. We'll maybe go down there in a wee second, they're already starting to play Oasis. We've got the Buddies Bar, all the Paisley Buddies going there. I was speaking to the guy earlier on, really friendly. Very affordable one there as well. But our burger and chips was next to nothing. That's Bank Street, we'll go down there in a wee second, maybe of yours. We'll wait and see. Okay, there's Pampas Steakhouse as well. Go and see Ashley. She watched the videos last year, she was having a wee chat with me last time. So we're going to head down Bank Street. Let's go through here, viewers. Okay, brilliant atmosphere down here. So be expecting this when we come to Abafura, you're going to see a brilliant atmosphere. Here we go, viewers. Here we go. Speed by, but how busy is it? We've got the balcony. Absolutely brilliant. Do you know where's? The guys on the balcony, it's so busy here. They struggle to get by. Wow. Right. Let's see if we can speed by, viewers. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost a penny. Let's see if we can speed by. A view there. I think we had a guy the other day as well. See, there's a wee bit camera shy. Uh, what an atmosphere! Absolutely brilliant. So, the truth is, Armafura is a cracking place. If you're into lively nightlife, you'll not go wrong here. You will not. But you can still have a couple of streets off here that are obviously a wee bit quieter. All these wee bars here are quite quiet actually inside. Quite quiet. But then you head up there, it's absolutely jumping. Let's head round the corner. We might need to edit this video, I'm, I'm suspecting that some of that there will not do. Uh, How you doing? Alright? Not bad? Yes. How are you? Not bad. Yourself? I watched it the last couple of days. Oh, thank you very much. Video, video logger. Ah, oh, yes. Do you like it here? Yeah, oh, cracking. Do you like it? Are you here with your mates, sir? No, I'm just here doing videos. Doing videos. All right, pleased to meet you, mate. What's your name? Eric. Eric. Where are you from? Uh, Ballymore in Dublin. Dublin. Okay, brilliant. 
Oh, well, thanks Where so much. Where are you much. from? I'm from Scotland, Beasley. Beasley? Yes. Good Beasley. spot. Here's the buddy. Good spot. That's that. Oh, lovely. Thanks for watching the video. Yes. I know it was yesterday. Oh, thank you. Checking the menus. That's right. Ah, oh, you definitely seen me. Aye. Orman. Pizza. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Aye, aye, that's right. That's right. No. <laughs> lovely meet you. <laughs> We're getting a wee picture together. <laughs> See you later, mate. See you later. <laughs> Look, some other guys are costed them there. Right, let's continue, viewers. Lovely to meet you. Guy from Dublin. Okay, now we've arrived at Vegas. Oh, here we go. Here's Renata. How you doing? Oh, the drummer. So good. Yeah, he's good. I've seen him because he's single stuff. Not bad, you. Doing good. Very busy tonight. It's not too bad. So so. Oh, yeah, it's cold. It's, it's cold. That's the Vegas bar, round the corner we've got the meat bar, the round here. The wee solo, that's Renata, what's the meat bar, check it out. One pound for a pint. Hey, round the side. So we've got live music on down here as well. So check out. The meat bar, I was in there earlier on, watched the Liverpool game, I couldn't get to St Martin Kamala game anywhere unfortunately. So I watched the Liverpool game, watched the first half in there, watched the second half in the central bar. Um, Piccadilly cocktail bar, underdog. Live music, band in here, really good music club. The underdog, Piccadilly bar. Okay, DNC's cocktail bar. Uh, there's the old sailor past that. See that old sailor pub inside? It's actually really nice inside. Yeah. Very nice bar inside. I went in earlier on to see if we could get the football, unfortunately. The guy tried, he just couldn't get it. So that's another thing. If you support a smaller Scottish team like me, it's not Celtic or Rangers. If the game's not on BT Sport or Sky Sports, uh, you might struggle to get it in Albufeira and other places like Tenerife and that, all, a lot of the bars have got um, different types of boxes and stuff, they can pick up streams from all over the internet there doesn't seem to be that many here they do pick up a lot of things, they've got most games for you but if you're sporting a, wee, a smaller team then you might struggle to get a game so just research that when you're here start looking about, asking the bars and all that if it's on Sky Sports or BT you won't have a problem if it's on St Mum TV, you'll have an issue. <laughs> and the good thing is, viewers, the game ended 2-0 to Kilmarnock, so I was kind of glad I'd never seen that game. And Liverpool won, although it was a struggle. They beat not, they beat, you know Liverpool are playing poorly, and they're high-fiving when they beat Notts Forest. They're struggling a wee bit. Steakhouse Lounge there. You've got Indian Grill here, rooftop, another rooftop bar here as well. I've done lots of videos actually around here, just thought I'd do a wee tour. My final video in Albafura probably. i give you the truth, it's a cracking place. It's not for everybody, as I said, if you don't enjoy lively atmospheres, bars, live music, then you want a quieter place. You maybe want to head to some of the quieter places that I've done videos in. It's beautiful in here, we tap this place. Hello. Yes, yes, a few times. I've done a wee video past here last night, speaking to the girl. How nice is it in here as well? So nice. So, yeah, if you're in the more quieter resorts, then there's a few that I've been to that you maybe you quite like. Uh, Nerha, it's really nice, Costa del Sol. Ibiza, Escanar, quite like. Santa Lali as well, quite quiet. So, I've tried to cover everything on the channel. There's the three harps there. Three harps. So, yeah, just try to cover everything on the channel. Give you my honest opinion and the truth and what I think. Some places that I like, you won't like. Everybody's different. So it just really depends. I like lively places with live music. But I just I do like sometimes, if you, you know, a wee quiet place. Quite a lot of viewers have recommended Paolo's Bar might pop in for a wee beer. They get some teats on there, mind you. So, this wee spot's nice here as well. You get Sherry's Bar. 
got the Jordi Viking and you've got the Cavern pub. Let's head round. Sherry's bar's very busy inside actually. There's been videos on the loop in there, it's quite clever all day long. Videos on the loop. Food smells amazing here. So here we've got the Jordi Viking right here. I've done a few videos around here. How you doing? Alright? And then we've got the El Brigante uh, pizza place as well. Uh, wait till I show you one of my favourite places here as well. The Cavern. Now, if, did you see my videos in Liverpool? Love Liverpool. Live music. Cavern, one of my favourite places. It's like a step back in time. I know it's not the original, I know it's been rebuilt, I know that. Some people commented on that. So that's the Cavern pub there as well. So a lot of good pubs here. This is the truth. I really like Arbifura. Most people watching the channel probably going to like it. For some people it might be too busy. I've got to be honest with you. Um, if you think this is busy, the strip in the new town is even busier. Probably even more lively, loud, just louder. Not even busier, just louder. So, something for everybody. Just depends what you like. I hope you've enjoyed the videos in Arbifura. I'll be back again hopefully next year. One of my favourite places I've done videos in. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, hit the wee subscribe button, it's absolutely free, just there, does not cost a penny, and we'll see you on the next one from somewhere else, maybe in Portugal or somewhere else, but thanks for watching to the end, you're a superstar, if you've done this for me, then I really appreciate it, it helps the channel out so much. Now, where will I go for dinner viewers? Not quite sure. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.